Hello and welcome back everyone to Unlock Ancestral Storytelling. This is a bonus lesson to show you how you can use one or more of the new AI tools built in to the WeAre.xyz program. You'll notice that I'm currently in my tree and it says up here that it's Mary's tree and the Mary we're talking about is my great grandmother, Mary Hall. So I have selected her as my focal point for this demonstration. In her profile, I have already written up a number of facts about her to begin telling her story, her life story. And the one that I wanted to focus in on for this demonstration today was the place where she was baptised, and that is St Peter's Church in Walworth, Surrey. I want to create an article about that place, about the church itself. So to do that, you head over to Places, and you'll see that I already have in place this article about St Peter's Church. And I wanted to show you the finished product before I then show you how it was done. Clicking into this particular article for St Peter's Church, you'll see a number of details about the church. And it's this first section here that describes the church's location, its architectural style, its various renovations and development, where I began using the AI Ghostwriter. So I've added that here as a note to tell people that this piece of text, these two paragraphs, were created using the AI Ghost Writer. And I'll show you how to do that later. Basically, all I needed to do was to gather information about that church from Wikipedia, first of all. So I headed over to Wikipedia and searched for St. Peter's in Walworth. And I took note of the address for this article on the church. So that was an important part of the process. Coming back here, when I was ready to put that in place, I could then use that link for the AI Ghostwriter to, to use that in creating this little summary. So how do we do that? Let me now show you how. I'm going to go back along the line here and go back to creating another place, but this time I'm going to use it for her son. Now I need to come back here and actually for her husband. And this is for Samuel here. And I already know that Samuel and Marianne were married in the church at, let me go forward to Wikipedia for you, at St John's Church in Waterloo. I actually have the marriage certificate to show the location of that church. So once again, I wanted to do a little bit of a summary on this and create a place for Samuel John Allery. So once again, I take note of that URL at the very top and then come back to we are. So now with Samuel Allery being the focal point, I'm going to create a new place. Clicking into places tells me there's nothing added yet. And my next step is to add a place. And I give it the title. And this one is St. John's. St. John's, get the typing right, church, and it's located in Waterloo, 
London. And it's already tagged with the name of the family and of the individual. I could add Mary Ann Hall here, as she too was part of this. And this is her, 1845 to 81. And then create the place. So far, so good. You've done this before. Well, I hope you have. Next, we want to create a description article for this place, St. John's Church. I can also add an image up here for it, but let's focus on the description article first. So we create the description article. And this is where your AI tools pop into view. You've got the AI biography creator and the AI ghostwriter. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the AI ghostwriter. And you'll see here that this is the prompt and the response that I used a little while ago to create a summary article about St. Peter's Church related to the baptism of Mary Ann Hall. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing. So I'm going to just copy that prompt for the time being. And then I can reset the chat and add the prompt down here and make some changes. This time I want St. John's Church in Waterloo in London. And I now need to put in place the link to the Wikipedia document, copy that in place and paste it here. The important part of this prompting is to let the ghostwriter know what kind of thing you're looking for and what its knowledge or what it can be in doing that task for you. So I'm saying that it's a skilled historian with specialist knowledge of churches in England, which it is, and it will be even more so when we give it that link. The task is to write a summary article about St. John's Church Waterloo and mm. details of its history can be found here. And that's all I need to do. Next step is to send that and let it do its work. And there we are. It's created a set of little paragraphs about that church and we can double check our facts because we can go back over to Wikipedia and just double check that that is in fact correct. And so here we can see Francis Octavia Bedford and that's what it's telling me here. So far so good. It was just a little bit of a start and then you can add to it. What you need to do next is very simple. You copy all of that to your clipboard and then you close the ghostwriter. You've still got that text in your hand or in your clipboard. So now we add that here as a bit of text. Click to add it and control V to paste. So you've now created the first few paragraphs that is going to help describe St. John's Church in Waterloo, London. Of course, you can make changes to it. Mine already has certain things attached to it, like this one that allows me to double check for passive and active voice, and I can make changes there. Spelling, punctuation, and so on. You can also give it a title. <clears throat> a little bit long, I might change that later, but you get the idea that this 
particular description of the place needs to make sense for it being here. So this is the place of the marriage for my great-grandparents. And then you've got that little description of it. To let the reader know that this has been created by the ghostwriter, you can add a citation here using the citation option here. In this case, it's just a piece of free text that I'll put in place to say created by the AI ghost writer. Create the source and insert the link. There was no link at that point. So now we have the beginnings of the description of this place. We can continue to add to it. So well, let's put in some pictures. And we have these pictures over here in the, in the Wikipedia. So I'll just create a set of those and come back and show you the results. Now you'll see that I have put in place a number of images that came directly from Wikipedia for this church. So we can, uh, the viewer can come in and have a look at these. It includes the um, pictures of the church, the certificate, the description of the church, and finishing with another fine example of the spire of the church. The last thing for us to do is to save or publish. And that means we've now got a place article for St John's Church. Final thing for me to do is add the image of the church in here. and pick one from those already uploaded. We'll choose this one. A little bit of cropping, select it, put it in place. And now we have a thumbnail for St. John's Church. That is how you can use the AI Ghostwriter to create a little bit of text for a place. I'll be back with another lesson on how you can use the AI Ghostwriter to help write stories for your ancestors. I hope you've enjoyed this small tutorial and we'll come back for more.